is Al. He's decided to go oh, all the way. His, he finally cut down his tree that's blocking was blocking a lot of uh, sunlight to his garage roof. But he's decided to go even beyond that. Can you tell us about what you're doing today, Al? Well, John, we have uh, Sun Nation Company here doing a, a solar installation, which consists of three separate arrays, one on the upper roof, one on my patio roof, and one oh. on my garage roof. Oh, the patio roof also. Yeah. Wow, look. Oh, there's the patio roof. So they've got all the, the structures set up on the patio roof, and they're starting to put the arrays up on the main roof right now. So, uh, so how large is this system? Well, right now we're looking at 48 panels, 225 watt panels. Wow. Uh, we're, we're looking at 10, over 10 kW. Um, again, being installed by Sun Nation, the Long Island's largest solar installer. Oh, you should do a commercial for we it. Should, uh, <laughs> we should be fully up and running today, and hopefully I'll have the ability to produce the majority of my own power. I think um, so. I'm a heavy... <laughs> electrical consumer. I don't know that I'll actually be able to produce as much as I consume, but with conservation, I'm going to try to do that. I'm eliminating some of my usage, and we're going to try to, uh, we're going to try to... Well, if you can put a dent in your electric, electric bill, that would so, be definitely worth it. Yep, the system that they're installing right now is uh, internet monitoring. Uh, it comes with remote a remote device at any time in real time you can see what your panels are putting out and you can log on to the internet and they they have also in real time um, what your monitor what your panels are putting out in terms of power sun nation provides 10 years of warranty wow. they, they do a, a yearly checkup on the system and they're able to also monitor the system from their remote site and notice if any changes take effect, if anything goes wrong, they'll be able to pick up on it, usually before the consumer or customer will. So if a panel should go bad, which is unlikely because they're guaranteed for 25 years, um, but if one would go bad, they would probably pick up on it before you and give you a call saying there's something wrong with your system and we'd like to come down and take a look at it. Oh. The, again, 10 years warranty. And you get a tax break on that. Uh, the also. tax break is, LIPER is um, giving $20,000 rebate. Um, I signed in for a $2 per kilowatt uh, rebate. I'm getting $20,000 back from LIPER. Whoa. We have uh, an $18,000 rebate from the federal government from the, off the federal taxes and a $5,000 rebate off the state taxes. Oh, wow. So, in essence, we take $43,000 off of the cost of the job, in this case, and we're looking at approximately a $70,000 installation, with, and that was including a 300 amp service upgrade in my home, and it also included the removal of the skylights I had on my lower roof, and the relocation of all the roof jacks on the back side of my house to the front side of my house. Oh, we'll probably be using some of the electricity you generate in our house. We'll run an extension cord over. You don't even need an extension. It comes right across the grid. Right, right? across the grid. Yeah. Yep, it will go when I, we, with part of this job is LIPA comes down and puts a net metering meter on the house after the installation is done. And the net metering meter may, keeps track of how many, uh, how much electric you produce and how much electric you use. And Whoa. at the end of the year, if you produce more than you use, LIPA cuts you a check for the difference. All right. And that's how it works. So. Well, that would be incredible. <laughs> that would be unlikely on, in my case, um, but we're going to try. Uh, yeah. We'll see how close we get to that. Pretty Again, incredible. I'm a heavy electrical consumer. Nice, uh, nice pool. You see, uh, Al's also uh, heating his pool, okay. at least to, to some extent, with. Uh, solar panels. It just circulates the water from the pool directly through the collectors and back out. So that's enough to at least uh, maintain the temperature of the pool uh, day and night, right? 